guys, so today we're going to be creating some shrinky dink keychains. Yay! So firstly, you probably played with this as a kid. They sell it at the dollar store at Dollarama. You can probably buy it at Amazon and Walmart. And these are just plastic sheets that can be melted in the oven and it'll shrink to about a quarter of the size. It says 50%, but it's actually a lot smaller. So here are the instructions. First of all, you design it, and then you cut it out, and then you use a hole punch to hole punch the little hole, and then you bake it. Wow. So you will need an arrangement of Sharpies. Whatever colors you can find, pull them out, and they'll be used for this craft. You will need a hole punch to punch the hole for the keychain. And you'll need some split rings or some keychains like this. Let's get started. Head on over to Google Images and search cute cartoon characters black and white. Find an image that you like and you can print it out and shrink down the image. And in my case, I think I'm just going to sketch it out. So now that you have your sketch done, what you can do next is use Sharpie and trace over what you're trying to draw. So I'm going to take a sheet of my Shrinky Dink right here and place it over the area and then just use a black Sharpie and trace around it. So just adding the little finishing touches and making sure the lines are nice and bold because this will shrink quite a lot. And there you go. So what I do next is actually I color on the opposite side. So because if you were to color on this side, it's going to smear all these lines. So I just flip it over with a sheet of paper underneath so it doesn't smear the black. And I'll color the nose, the tongue, maybe a tiny bit of the ear. I can even color the whole cat in actually. So why don't I start with pink. So I'll color the cute little tongue in, the nose, a little bit of the ears, and it's very light. So we can give him stripes like this. Maybe just accentuate his whiskers a tiny bit. So now all we have to do is cut it out. If you're too young to use scissors, just have your parents help you. So I just leave maybe two, three millimeters around the drawing. And keep in mind where you're actually gonna put the hole. If you're putting it within the drawing, remember that. If you're putting it outside of the drawing, just leave a little space for it once you cut it. So this is really easy to cut. It's very nice and thin. It's like thicker than maybe 10 sheets of paper, but it's still not really hard. I don't have to put much effort into it. Okay, so there you go. There it is, meow. Okay, so the next step, just take your hole punch and punch a little hole on the top, on the bottom, wherever you wish. I'm just going to put it in the middle of this poor cat's forehead, and that's going to be the hole for the keychain. We are ready. We're going to bake this guy. I'm just going to show you how much he's going to shrink. So his length is about three and a quarter inches. Oh, look, it's so small now. It is done. Let's take a look at this. Look how tiny it is. So we're just going to let this little guy cool down. And there you go. Your fun keychain. Yeah. The possibilities are endless. Create things like keychains, earrings, name tags, necklace pendants, and charms. Fuel your mind, body, and soul. Make something every day. If you like this video, please follow, like, and subscribe.